And the next problem says solve the exponential equation by the method of relating the basis. First by writing the equation in the form b to the u equals b to the v. So we want to write both sides of the equation with the same base so then we can say that the exponents are equal to each other. So our equation is 49 to the x equals 1 7th to the x minus 4. So I've got 49 to the x equals 1 7th to the x minus 4. I want to make the bases the same, and I know 49 is a perfect square. 49 is 7 squared, and I've got 1 7th over here. So I'm thinking about trying to make these both a base of 7. So let me rewrite 49. 49 is the same thing as 7 squared, and the x just carries down. 1 over 7 is the same thing as 7 to the negative 1. Having a negative in the exponent is reciprocal of that base. And then we're going to simplify using some properties of exponents. There's a property of exponents that says if you have b to the power of m to the power of n, so power to a power, then you multiply those powers together, b to the m times n. So I've got 7 to the second to the x. I'm able to multiply those together to get 7 to the 2x. The same thing happens on the other side of the equation. 7 to the negative 1 to the x minus 4. And I'll multiply those powers together to get 7 to the negative 1 times x minus 4. So now I've written both sides of the equation with the same base, so I'm able to use that property called relating the bases to say that this exponent on the left is equal to the exponent on the right. So this gives me a new equation to solve. I'll distribute that negative to get negative x plus 4, add x on both sides, that gives me 3x equals 4, and divide both sides by 3, and x equals 4 thirds.